Hello, you are welcome to I Can Make It Today. What a joy to be alive. I want to especially thank you for always tuning into I Can Make It. And I want you to know that we love you. We want the best for you. In this new year, you can make it. No matter what has happened around you, you can make it. Well, with me this morning is Queen. My name is Simon Asamata. I'm Queen on this edition today. God bless you. Queen, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, Thank what a you. joy. What a joy to be alive. Yes. Well, this I can make it today. I want to uh, share with you. I just want to read something that I know it will bless you before Queen unveil the thing that I'll be sharing with you today. There's something wrote down here. God does not give us what we can handle, but give God help us to handle what we are given. God does not give us what we can handle, but He help us to handle what we have given that means no matter where you find yourself the things you can you you look you look as if you cannot do god will give you the capacity to do that thing so you can make it hmm. you are welcome thank you all right yes and i welcome us to another exciting and wonderful and educating edition on i can make it yeah yeah um today we're talking about failure is failure good is failure bad depends. well okay depends on how you see it mm. so failure is feedback what do i mean the only thing worse than failure is our wrong approach to it our approach to failure will determine how long we stay in it the acclaimed father of modern automobile henry ford forgot to put a reverse gear in his first car wow i still don't understand i don't believe i mean I, i'm still wondering how he forgot to yeah, put that possible. reverse gear you know because it was he's a, he's already a renowned man in the automobile business and we had been waiting the world then i've been waiting for this car to come out and yet he forgot to put a reverse gear in his first car it was a massive error for a car that was much awaited by many when ford was asked to say something about his global blunder he ended up by ended up by redefining the erroneous interpretation of failure he said and i hope you can quote this see failure is simply an opportunity to begin again wow that's this wonderful. time more intelligently mm -hmm. many people fail continuously simply because they do not learn from the previous failure wow. now another great man nelson mandela mm -hmm. he said this about failure said i never lose i either win or learn don't see failure as setback see failure as feedback wow wow this is amazing yeah I, I was just exciting i was just being excited for what nelson mandela said mm -hmm. he said i never lose you know yes. a lot of people when you have that loser mentality, mentality it crumbles you he makes you not to rethink yes or bounce back mm. or try again mm -hmm. he said i never lose a lot of people think that they are loser mm -hmm. because they fail because they fail sometimes it's just that the place where the delay mm. but it is not final if you can bounce back and move in just like what Nelson Mandela mm. no wonder I was able to drive away apartheid wow. at this time at his he time. was able to stay in the prison for that long wow. and yet the body was in prison hmm. but the mind was, was still, not in prison yeah, had a he kept on mentality. thinking yeah. and he had a vision he yeah. had a purpose and no wonder a man of this type of mindset definitely can never lose hmm. but can only be a setback for a setup I it tell doesn't you. matter what is happening. i tell you this yeah, is, i know you have something to say this I is do. this is just exciting that i i feel like i don't know, i feel like jumping like dancing you know seeing this from people that we hold in high esteem you know mm. you cannot talk of ford cars without calling henry mm. ford you know and i mean in the world of automobile though i'm not i won't say i am a, 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 a somebody that knows much, much but i know that for this man to make this mistake mm. you know i kept thinking during the process of making this car mm. he must have drawn Everything. something yes he must have drawn a prototype mm -hmm. you know made correction they would have test run it mm. i wonder how many times they made test runs for this particular automobile that still came out without a reverse it was a global 
blunder i tell you a very big one why because a lot of noise was made about it mm -hmm. you know people were like saying yes that's henry true. ford is bringing something yes. great you know he was already an authority in that and yet he came out without a reverse reverse wasn't there mm. and yet he was still he had the boldness he didn't feel down you know most people almost at most of the time we when we we you know we feel at something we just feel weak like no hope it's like oh i People messed it up, up i tell you to you look at people with the faith oh look at what he said mm. he said it's just an opportunity mm. to begin again he was ready to begin again yeah. to make it better mm. more intelligently mm -hmm. i wish we could just borrow something from you. i know that that mistake you made is just telling me that you can do it better yeah there's a better way to do it mm. and you get something better mm. i mean uh, you know we have we can go on and on and on about people i don't know if you have any word to share yeah. to us uh, you know about people that made this blunder yeah, and yet went faith, on the truth of faith uh, as human we are not 100 percent perfect huh. we made mistake now that's why i always say that the mistake you made yesterday should not interrupt your success of today mm. the mistake you make yesterday should not interrupt your success today now there are when you are making any man that wants to do something you want to really make impact in this world you will make mistakes mm. and now that is why you always see a man that said he's trying to do something never have a clean hand mm. the hand is always dirty mm -hmm. why because he's doing something. doing something but a lot of people if you see a man the hand is not dirty it's not strong it's not i'm just looking at when you use your hand to do your work mm. so it's very important no matter the mistake you have made don't look at it as failure it simply means you have just learned one way that thing cannot work mm. you know like thomas edison was asked a question how come you were able to go back a thousand times wow to be able to look at this electric bulb and find out that is and you went back again he said i just learned one thousand times <laughs> that ways that it cannot work mm. i only saw this one now that it can work that means if he has tried it a thousand two hundred the guy was ready to go all the way wow. you can actually weary those things that try to put you down mm. so don't give up don't look down look up because that's where your help come from mm -hmm. you know last time we we're talking about if you want to fall up make sure your back is on the ground fall looking upward mm -hmm. and you will get up so don't just look down a lot of people they are easily discouraged that is why it's very important for us to learn to encourage ourselves it does not matter what we are going through whether it is your family whether it is your business that is not working whether you are into import and export maybe something happened to your business listen to me go again mm. go again there will be a way out go again don't just sit down there and begin to complain and begin to whine i say that i lose now listen there's this story i read i i heard about many years ago about the man that made seven up now he had a, he had a taste that he wanted to get a feeling he wanted to get from a drink he was trying to do now this man tried number one he did not get the taste he was looking for he tried number two he did not get the taste he was looking for he tried number three he did not get the taste he was looking for he tried number four he didn't get the taste he tried number five he did not get the taste every other person with taste so he looked sad but he knows what we were looking for mm. the same thing in life you 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 know what you are looking for and when you see it it will satisfy you when you see it you'll be contented when you get it you know then he tried number six it was not what he was looking for when he got to number seven he got the taste that the man shattered seven up and that is what you have as a drink today called seven up why he did not say seven down mm. he said seven up so he found out that number five was what pushing to get number six mm -hmm. number six push him to get to number seven he call it seven up i don't want you to look down it does not matter what has happened yesterday it does not matter what has happened around you oh some of us even look at when we were children what happened to us i remember the story we shared maybe you can share that story where we saw people that were in hmm. they had impediment when they were young they they so many things happened to them in their life mm -hmm. but yet in the midst of all of these obstacles 
all of these challenges they were able to break through and today we are reading book about them we are learning about them some of us even answer their name mm -hmm. but we are not ready to show commitment to that which will bring us up don't give up it does not matter what is happening around you mm. today let's just look at those stories where we're yes talking yes there's there's one actually have loads i don't even know where to start from <laughs> but i think i should start from albert einstein before mm. i get to one that is really shaking me now mm. you know let's let me save down for the last okay. albert einstein mm. you know the great physicist do you know that at, as a child he didn't even start speaking until he was four years old wow. imagine you having a child that didn't start speaking i've seen people that had you know children have such issues and to see ah what's wrong you know is my child normal somebody will say that they, they, this on village they yes from village yes i've 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 even had uh i i saw someone she's actually related to me who did not walk to like five years wow but I tell you, if you walk, ah, she can walk now. Nah, <laughs> you know, if you go walk now, she will tell you the definition of walking, and she can really walk now. But it took her so long. Now, Albert Einstein didn't start speaking till he was about four years, mm. and then he didn't start reading until he was seven. Now, most of us are reading at four years, mm -hmm. they're reading at five years. Mm -hmm. Now, he at seven started reading, and he was taught to be mentally handicapped. Now, not that he ended up him reading seven years. Even at that reading, he was not a very coherent child. He wasn't sharp. He, what you say, ah, this became no sharp. Mm. You know, that kind of thing that people will say. Mm. The child, you will just say, ah, something is wrong with this child. Mm -hmm. Probably the way he talked, he would like talk anyhow, maybe speak till or so will drop. But he wasn't even sharp at all. He was thought to be someone that could not think straight. But do you know that this same person went on to win a Nobel Prize mm. and alter the world's approach to what we know as physics now? He is an, an authority in physics any time, any day, and his name is known all over the world. Wow. In fact, we read about him. I'm sure my children's children will still read about him too. Mm -hmm. He's no, there's no way you talk about physics that you will not mention his name. Mention his name. So, I tell you, this is somebody that people thought he had mental issue. Mm -hmm. They thought that the, he has not. He was growing, a growing child, but his mentality was not growing. Mm -hmm. His mental approach to life, to how he did things, was not growing, and people felt, ah, this one, his own has gone. But did you see what happened now? physics that most people have to go extra learn extra uh, you know lengths to learn about to understand is what someone who they thought was mentally handicapped did. Mm. i tell you if he can make it i you, can make it can and make you it. can make I it can too make it. i mean these are challenging things yeah. we should we should always remember this and you know put ourselves cause just you to yes for you to keep moving and moving and moving and moving i don't know if i should talk about the other person no, go ahead. it's as if i mean i am so so excited no, no, because ahead. you can also you know apply this to your own living too it doesn't matter how many times you failed in your 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 marriage your relationship you know but you can you still can get up again. and better yourself and go up now this person i'll talk about now wow. is james dyson this man he's now called james dancing and you know funny enough he's now one of uk's richest men as we speak now now this this young man you know why it's his own is quite touching is that he had invented so many household appliances he he's, he's number one in the world now he is number one in the list of those who have failed a total of he failed total of 5127 now as i speak it's 126 but now is one five thousand one hundred twenty seven inventions household appliances i mean i don't understand how he kept doing it and he went over this for 15 yeah. 15 years hmm, before creating his best-selling bagless vacuum cleaner and i tell you that singular one he has many many things he did yeah, but he this gone. particular bag bagless vacuum cleaner mm -hmm. got him he got a net worth of 4.5 billion dollars wow this is somebody that has failed 5,000 
127 times. times. Please, is anybody there that has failed up to that time? No. Is the highest in the world. I haven't. I have. I don't think we I've gone. We used to talk about um, about one thousand times. Yes. Times, but this one is five thousand. Five thousand one hundred and twenty-seven. And it has so many things. There's something he created, a ball barrow. You know how will barrow? He's mm. on his ball barrow. Wow. He's on his being. You know, it's pushed by. There's a ball there where a wheel is supposed to be. You know, he doesn't have all those hitches. He has this Dyson hot. Mm that can make the room so so hot to 34 degrees and above wow. you know so i tell you he he has there's one that i saw a a, a um, blade the bladeless fan what it does you know we have lots of fans that are supposed to dry our hands mm -hmm. so then you put them there bring the, their stewards put them you end up wiping your hands on your body but he now created something that will now wipe your hand the blade will just rub through your hand and dry the liquid wow. off your hand and wow. and it is also a very clean I, I think it has this antiseptic also i don't know it's i mean i'm so excited yeah. it's like failure no you cannot put me down yeah. i can make it you can you know the truth of it is that when we face challenges many times mm. including myself when we face challenges many times instead of us to learn what we are supposed to learn from challenges mm. we tend to blame other people yes. for our failures I would begin to look for fault. Oh, maybe because they took light. Mm. Maybe because I did not pray well. Mm. Maybe because I did not go for that mm. program. Maybe because uh, my grandfather did it. Now, who will have thought a man that had faith for 5,127 5, eh, will be one of the UK richest men today? Huh. Why? Because he did not see failure as final. He saw failure as an opportunity to try another thing again. Mm. So no matter what is happening around you, if you have tried and you fail, don't just encourage yourself. Move on. Become used to it. And mm. while I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. Yes. Let us become used to it. Accept it and move on. Just make sure you knew what you did that made you fail. Mm. And go back again. Don't repeat the same thing again. Learn from it and go forward. We want to say you can make it. It doesn't matter what is happening around you. You can actually make it when you decide to start thinking out of the box. Yes, you failed yesterday. We agree. Well, you call it failure. We, Nelson Mandela call it. He said, Nelson Mandela said, I never lose. I, I win mm. or I learn that I, I can. I, I don't see failure mm. as setback as final. See, I don't mm. see. I don't see failure as a setback. I see it as a feedback. Mm. Feedback to tell me, hey, you, you can do you better. Can do better. Hey, you can try again. Hey, you can do it again. I don't know the area that you have failed. You don't need to give up. Just get up. Try it. Don't try the same way because you have learned that, that you cannot give result that way. Try another way. Because I tell you something, every one of us in this life have something that we came here to do. God will not create us as a raw material to come and just waste our life mm. and waste our time. Many of us will need to discover the purpose for which we are born. Mm -hmm. And stop looking at other people. They that compare themselves among themselves are not, not wise. wise. You are unique. You are a peculiar person. And there is a reason for your why God created you. So you are not a wasted product. Don't listen to what people are saying about you, especially when what they say does not matter to what you are mm. doing. Leave them alone. Everybody have his own mouth. Everybody have his own head. Let them use it, but you go ahead and succeed. Mm. I tell you, once you succeed, the same people that talk that on you will come to look up to you. Mm. You can make it today. You need to walk in agreement. If you are a married person, you need to walk in agreement with your husband or your wife. At the same time, walk in agreement to be able to understand the children that you have brought to this life. I tell you, like we, we read about the, the, the right brothers. Their father was a bishop. They mm. went to their father and said, we have a dream. We see a bed. We can put a bed on the earth An to fly. Earth. And, right. and the father did not discourage them. Listen to me. Allow your children to dream large. Mm. You might not understand it. Somebody is telling you, uh, the, the, somebody is telling you, I want to do it, I want to do it. I say, you cannot do it. Who are you? You cannot do it. Listen to me. Many a time I've said in this program, those of you that said it cannot be done, allow us that believe that it can and be done, done to go ahead and do exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs>
Don't interrupt me with your it can be done. Negativism mm. never brings anything to this life. We must learn to live positive in a negative world. Sure. It does not matter what is happening around you today. You can, can make, make it. it. That is why we came. That is why we are in this program. That is why we are talking to you today. Mm -hmm. That you can make it. Don't give up. Encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. Get up. Yes, you try, you fail. Get up. Go ahead. This man that we talked about, we talked about Nelson Mandela. Have you ever read? That is why the great man of, many of these books that you need to read, you need to learn to read mm -hmm. autobiography. When you read biography or watch what the what maybe the film or uh, the art they've done in autobiography, you will understand mm -hmm. better that your own challenge is not peculiar to you. Is there anybody that wants to become somebody in this life that you don't just want to pass through this world, you want to leave your footprint at the sands of time, then you need to resist, persist, insist, and be dogged, and go ahead and succeed. Mm -hmm. You can make, make it. it. You must not die a tenant. You can have your house. Mm -hmm. You need to make sacrifice. Delay gratification. Encourage yourself. Sometimes you might not even have food to eat. Mm. You are not. It was it not a, a man in, the, in our country here yeah, many years ago. Or Bafemi Awolo war. Most of the things that he had was sold on on auction sure. because he was. But he did not die. Mm -hmm. But he made him part yeah. any time. The challenges you are going today will not kill you. Yes. Whatever you are going through today does not have the final say. Mm -hmm. You know what has the final say? Your attitude, your mannerism, the things that you have learned. You need to learn to encourage yourself i wanted to say with me today i, I can, can make, make it. it i don't know if you want to read one other thing or say something yeah, i want to say something continue. about ones around us mm. you know we still have these stories of people around us yeah you know so as someone will not say ah they are far if you look you see i personally know someone he's not a medical doctor wow. but he had to write exam jam as we know it wow. for 12 good times wow. Mm. Yes, twelve. Twelve good. That's twelve years. He wrote it for twelve years. Why? Where to read medicine? That was what they were looking for. That's what we were looking for. Medicine. They will give him this. You say no. I want this. And he will go back and go back twelve good times. And then he graduated as a as a medical doctor at at age fifty. This is, you know, what I'm saying that we can actually see them around. This is someone I know at age fifty, and now he's sixty three. He is, in fact, he is very good at what he's now traveling the whole world as a missionary doctor. Amen. Now, Amen. you know, when others were still strong, they were saying, Ah, your time is passing. No, oh, this is going. No, oh, just take this course now. Take anyone they give you. It's mm. not just, mm. he said, No, I want to be a medical doctor. And he went for that. And it mm. came to pass at 50, he was a happy man because he got what he was looking for, graduated. Now, that if you look at him now, the age and everything, he's an accomplished man. Yeah. Why? Because he's happy. That is his purpose. He was his purpose. That made him accomplished. Mm. Now, if you had lived your life or someone else's life because he said, ah, your time is going. Why don't you just do something else? You're not getting any younger. Do you want to go to school with your grandchildren? Mm -hmm. You know, who that's supposed to be your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. He was like, I don't mind. But this is what I want to do. And for 12 years, he wrote exams and finally he's a medical doctor mm. going around everywhere what are, what are we saying it can be done it can be done you can make it and i can make it just say to yourself you know one the beautiful thing about um failure is that there are many people that witness your failure there are usually loads of people but i think it's better that way so that when you now make it the viewership will be much much more because those ones that watch you fail they will go and whisper to another person that this person failed though and they will think you are still where you are not knowing you are working mm. to get better so when they are there talking about you talking down about you just keep working on yourself to get better and i tell you you will make it okay you know when you were just talking what i learned from what you have said mm. is that you are for you to really make it because actually you are the one that know what you that want know to make what you want yes yeah you are the one that know you can make it not because people are clapping for you that guy would have as well take to become a pharmacist yes he would have taken uh, to come and do any other course microbiology and most of yeah microbiology mm -hmm. or whatever medical laboratory yes. science now but he decided to insist and say this is what i want yes. and he was ready to go all the way just like what we learn people that will read about that succeed in mm. life one 
they know what they want. They know what they want. Are you getting me? If you are there, you can write it down. You must know what you want. Then you must be ready to make the sacrifice that will bring to pass mm -hmm. what, you what you want. This man we just talked about, that queen just talked about, wanted to be a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Writing down for 12 years, hmm. that would have, I mean, the, no matter the course you would have read at that time, if he, if he had entered in year one, mm. he would have been out of medical school. Maybe yes. by then would have been doing salesmanship or whatever mm -hmm. at that time. But he was willing to pay the price for what you want. It does not matter what is happening around you today know what you want and decided to pay the price mm -hmm. to get what you want we just talked about nelson mandela what did he do he knew what he want at age 24 he was arrested because of what he want and he wanted a freedom for his people then he was in prison for about 27 years mm. and abu stayed there came out and become just one term one president time, yeah. and he said this is what i want mm. what i want is to liberate my people I don't know what you are going through this morning. You Maybe you are discouraged. Maybe something that you want. Maybe you wanted to go to school. You could not go to school because nobody was there to sponsor mm -hmm. you. But now that you know what to do, thank God for opportunities that is everywhere. Learn to develop yourself and get what you want out of life. You know, there's something where, where I'm reading. He said, when you finally let go of your past, hmm. something better will come along. When you finally let go of those failures, Something good will show up for you. I know you can make it if you don't give up. And I want to encourage you this morning. Don't give up. You can make it. Well, I want to thank you for always tuning. I can make it. You can see the number scrolling. They want to hear from you. I want you to be a part of this program. Join us. Maybe there are some things that you have heard us said, or you want to be a, a part of it by contributing. Send us text message on the number on your screen. We want to be a part of what you are doing. Until you see you again in our next edition, there is Simon and Samantha and Queen saying, You, you can, can make, make it. it. Thank you and bye bye. God bless you.